of the year leader for the Open, Star City Open series. Yeah. Maybe we could get another good deck live after this round. With what deck? If we could find that ally deck. Should I, I'm going to go sure. take a quick look. See if it's, it's, but the match is... Okay, you can take a quick look. Cool. Alright, so it looks like uh, Vampire's deck is fine with this turn, and we have two quick turns to get out of early Hex Mage. And Alex counters with a Rampant Growth, which is actually pretty good, because now uh, there are definitely a lot of powerful spells that can be cast from the Jun deck with four mana. Michael goes to 19 from the fetch land, go against the Swamp. Probably going to see a crash in with the Hex Mage, and um, not sure what else is in. Oh, a Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Nighthawk's pretty good. So Alex is down to 18. No ally deck, couldn't find one. I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist. Yeah, same. And Blightning from Alex. Drops Mike to 16. Okay, so we get rid of a Death Mark and a Tendrils. Yep. And then Lightning Bolt dispatches Vampire Hex Mage. Said uh, Infest looks like it was boarded in for Mike. Bloodbraid Elf comes out for, for Alex and cascades into another Blightning. In response to an urge uh, to feed. That is an urge to feed. Uh, Mike tries to catch the urge to feed, but Alex. I think that's a sorcery, yeah. right? It's an instant, but Alex reminds oh, his opponent that Bloodbraid Elf is not yet in play. Good point. Uh, so Mike falls to 10 life. Alex still has a safe 16. And Broodmate comes out for Alex Bertoncini. And uh, another Ray and Rashad token he takes the place of a 4 4 dragon. Burden Catacomb gets sacked for a Swamp. So. Alex bashes in for eight. These guys are playing pretty fast. Yep. John usually. And hits. another land for Mike spells the end. I guess that's it. Alex takes the match two games to zero. Congratulations, Alex, and he moves on. These were undefeated, correct? Uh, these guys both have one loss. They're both sitting at 15 points, battling with their back against the wall to uh, make top it. Well, it looks like you were doing the math, and maybe maybe, maybe uh, X2 can uh, X2 can top eight. Something weird's gonna happen. Yeah, there are a lot of rounds, and the cutoff is. Well, the cutoff is pretty high. What's the cutoff? Like 400. To get the next amount of rounds, you mean? 400 and. 96, I want to say? I want to say 440. Or 420 or something the like that. The chat will tell us in about yeah. two minutes. Okay, so so it's, it's been confirmed that the uh, deck is not real. It was just trying to... Well, I mean, is that confirmed? It, it, it looks oddly suspicious that the... The Twitter feed had everything to do with um, advertising a certain website and nothing to do with a deck that's actually here. So it's 0-2 for reality going on with this ally deck. First at the Pro Tour, now here at StarCityGames.com $10,000 tournament in Richmond. I wish I had a pen. Like, where we usually have, like, pens so that I can write you notes. It's going to be a good one. But you have to keep talking so it doesn't look like I'm actually writing you a note. But I have to, actually, I guess we can switch it over to us. And then everyone can see me write a note. Here I am. What's up, guys? Writing a note. Writing a note. Looks like somebody, uh... So, 
unbelievable. We I know, are right? Awesome. We are awesome. We are awesome. We, I mean, we have we have to feel good about ourselves. If you read, have you read the chat? Well, it's not there <laughs> now because it just depresses me. But uh, we, we 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 have to just pump ourselves up. We have to be our own inspiration. Unless you tell me how wonderful I am. You're very wonderful. Thank you. Now I feel wonderful. Entertain the people. Uh, somebody asked if I went to PT Honolulu. I did, in fact, go to Pro Tour Honolulu. Which one? It was good times. The second one. Oh, I only went to the first one. Tell them about your Honolulu experience. Uh, what do we do? My brother missed out on top eight and then tapped 50. Your experience. Uh... I I played in a PTQ, top tell eighted. The, I lost. Fans. I don't know. I keep losing. What do they want from me? Same old story. <laughs> it's time to write some new stories. Why don't you try winning one? I'm going to next week. Oh, that's pretty good. Where, where, where are you going to win? At home? Uh, New York City. Aren't those pretty big? No fear. Yeah, that's fine. What are you going to play? Tell everybody what you're going to play and give them your deck list. Uh, I'm going to play uh, Dark Depths Thopter Foundry deck uh, designed by Jerry Thompson. How, how's, you've been testing that on uh, Magic Online, right? Yeah, I've, in the two-man queues, I haven't lost yet. Uh, so, I'm feeling pretty pretty excited about it. played quite a bit of it. It's a very powerful deck. That's what people don't understand is... Uh, Clearly, clearly it's very powerful, and you know, I, I sort of dismissed it at the beginning. Why should I play this deck that everybody's going to be hating out? But the fact of the matter is that a punch of the time you just win turn two, you just get a turn two twenty twenty, and there's not much your opponent can do, and most of the time they just they they just can't stop it. I could deal with a twenty twenty because you are the twenty twenty eating a hat. No, I mean I've lost to myself before, but have you lost to yourself? Like uh, oh oh, attacked. somebody attacked you with a twenty twenty with me. I see. Actually, there are a bunch of one ones, so they have a lot of me. It's kind of awkward. Weird. And awesome at the same time. So, um, so what do you think of the uh, make up a, a fictitious deck with weird cards to uh, advertise your site? I think that's inexcusable. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're doing it for <laughs> GG's Live. Yeah, you guys can make up as many fake decks as you want as long as you put at GG's Live in a tweet. Not, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. But what you can't do, you can't do that for StarCityGames.com because they are a reputable business. Whereas we are, uh, uh, I guess we're pretty good too. Yeah. I think but, we're getting a lot more credit these days. Yeah, but don't forget to um, watch the text coverage too. Read the text coverage. Bill Stark, StarCityPost.com. Probably one of the premier uh, magic journalist out For sure. there. He's one of the, those guys that has definitely been able to, you know, saw, saw what he wanted to do, make his living by, by doing something with magic, and did it. So it's, a, it's really... And he, and he likes what he's doing. Yeah. So his story is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I know another friend of mine, Gavin Verhey, is uh, hoping to become part of the flavor text department. He's been pretty much playing the game since his childhood. And he knows that he wants to do something with English, and he loves playing Magic. So he graduates from college this semester, and he's hoping to, to get a job uh, doing doing the... Uh, do they actually have a whole... Like, do they have a department just for flavor text? I thought that they kind of just pull or, like, got input from all over the place for flavor text. They've, I think they've got a department that does things like flavor text and, like, writing... Uh, the flavor codes for the pictures and those sorts of stuff. And uh, he wants to work in that department specifically doing flavor text, I think. I was talking to him at PT San Diego. Uh, he's, he's, he really likes flavor text. He really likes magic. He wrote, he's actually a columnist for StarCityGames.com, so watch out for his columns. Comes out on Monday. Uh, flow of Ideas. Flow of Ideas is a column. Also, What's that card do? Uh, draw... Uh, cards equal to the number of islands you control. Mm, how much does it cost? It costs five mana, four and a blue. Five and a blue? Ah, one mana off. That's all it takes to be disqualified. From what? Uh, my, <laughs> what my... is what does Chains of Mephistopheles, Mephistopheles do? <laughs> <laughs> 
What doesn't it do? Well, he was if, you draw, if you draw a card, you discard a card. Nobody right? knows. If you would draw a card, instead you discard a card. Wait. 